In collaboration with Edith Cowan University, Elsevier Australia has developed a comprehensive series of 31 videos to ensure the effective practice and teaching of key clinical nursing skills. Based on best practice guidelines and following the structure of the skills in Potter and Perry's Fundamentals of Nursing 3rd Edition by Crispin Taylor, these videos include clear rationales, delegation considerations and critical decision points. Ideal for viewing in class, the videos provide a valuable tool for revision prior to assessment and to assist nursing students in mastering the clinical skills required to deliver the highest quality care to patients. These videos are now available to lecturers who adopt Potter and Perry's Fundamentals of Nursing 3rd Edition or Fundamentals of Nursing Clinical Skills Workbook by Geraldine Ribeiro, Leanne Jack and Natasha Scully. The following are examples of three of the clinical skills videos which are now available. Periodontitis, halitosis, chelosis and stomatitis. Remove your gloves and attend to your personal hand hygiene. To get an idea of your patient's oral hygiene practices, ask how often they brush and floss, what type of toothpaste they use and when they last went to the dentist. Begin by determining when the dressing was last changed as many institutions require nurses to write the date and time on the dressing along with the date the device was first placed. Assess the present dressing for moisture and intactness and also observe the IV system for proper functioning or complications such as kinks in the infusion tubing or catheter. Take a moment to observe the exposed catheter site for swelling and infiltration and also palpate the site through the intact dressing to detect inflammation or for complaints of pain or burning. When you come across a person who appears to have collapsed, you need to adopt the emergency action plan which consists of seven steps. These are danger, where you need to assess for safety, response, send for help, airway, breathing, circulation, defibrillator. The steps can be easily remembered by the acronym DRSABCD or Doctors ABCD. Danger. Begin by first assessing the situation for danger to ensure safety for yourself, any bystanders and your patient. As a general rule, you should avoid moving casualties unless there is a hazard that you cannot remove such as fire or poisonous fumes. Contact your local Elsevier representative for more information and a full listing of the skills videos available.